Alright, so here we go with uh, Byleth and Luigi. Ooh, another banner. Back to back, huh? Three, two, one, go! I'm gonna finish eating dinner, so I'll be back soon. Okay. And excuse me for one moment as I get this match out into the Twitterverse. Okay, Loki evening up the damage, keeping things from... This is actually, I could see, pretty difficult for Luigi because he is actually pretty stubby. And, uh, you know what they say, got the distance demon over here. Nice catching the roll with that forward smash. Albeit, I think, was a little bit uh, telegraphed with the uh, other forward smash. But, yeah, good stuff by low key. Can we take that first stock? So now this is like a better position for him. However, the range issue is still going to be a thing because, uh, you know, now New Vanquisher needs to be a little bit, a little bit more on the offensive and uh, gonna punish uh, up smash on sh on his block with up smash out of shield. And uh, that's one of Violet's strongest tools. So yeah, gonna be evening it up. So even though uh, Loki was able to take the stock lead, Violet definitely, uh, Violet, Neo Vingisher a answering uh, somewhat quickly. And now we have some even percents again. All right, Neo Vingisher taking a bit of a percent lead and holding stage. Let's see if he can keep this edge guard and maybe turn it into a kill. All right, catching the roll on the up there. Keeping the juggle going. Oh, okay. I like that he, like, opted to stay in shield because, like, that's a situation where, like, if you do something too unsafe, especially when you've already done one thing unsafe, that, like, Luigi might go for, like, up B or something. Ooh, ooh, oh! Loki landing the ja uh, jab block with the fireball, but not really realizing that he had got it, so kind of messed up the timing and tried to get a forward smash. Now we see a uh, Nego Vanquisher off stage situation, and yeah, uh, does a normal get up and gets kicked in the face, but when coming back from the respawn platform, able to just take Loki out with a tipper back air. So, super even stocks. Last stock. Nice parry on the arrow. <sighs> right now, Loki's got his work cut out for him. Uh, Neo Vanquisher's just been kind of... They, they, they haven't gone for, like, strong uh, long strings, the two of them, but I just... New Vengers is just getting in those the, those little hits that matter. And it's it's adding up, you know? Penny saved, penny earned. Ooh. Yeah, Loki just playing the chase game the entire time. That's kind of like what... Oh, no. It's kind of what New Vengers wants. Each battle a chance to grow. Oh. <laughs> you know, say what you like about... Uh, say what you want about Violet, but that is good advice. That is good advice. <laughs> Look how Byleth has like a monster hunter weapon, like just straight up. Yeah. This is how he rolls. Have you ever seen a uh, monster hunter in Marvel vs. Capcom? Yeah. You mean infinite? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like that's how I imagine Byleth would be if he was actually done like super well. He's just chilling. I'm just like, yo, right. bro, pull up. Blah, blah, blah. Yo, dude, pull your comes huge the double kill. great sword. Boom, boom. And then, uh, stupid. I would actually, I would probably be super into Monster Hunter. If, uh, 
Not so much. If they had just done, like, basically more. Jeez, that's ugly. It's like. <laughs> like. I have zero interest in Violet, but honestly, if it was Monster Hunter with Violet's set and just, like, the general same design philosophy, I would have been pretty into it. And it really just shows you, like, so, how much, how big of a difference in your character that you're actually into makes. Just pretend it's Monster Hunter. If you like the moveset, then use the moveset. Like, who cares? I don't think the moveset's that great. I think oh. it's a good moveset. I think no, it's a good okay. moveset from, like, a perspective of someone who's like, this is an okay moveset. All right. He's not a, he did, he's not, he's not an outright bad character. He's framed out as a little creepy, obviously, but he's got some good districts and good moves. Yeah, he doesn't like it when you're behind him. That's his... One, one thing is Oh. Yeah. All right, so Eli gonna be swapping to Donkey Kong. I, I, like, Donkey Kong's definitely quicker than Luigi, but he's a bigger target. And for a character like Violet, like all that range, just, uh, so, it's, it's like easier. Wasn't DK like quote unquote the worst super heavy lane in the game, like for the longest time? Yeah. Is that, is that still is that still the case? I think K. Rool got a bit now. I mean, so definitely. Uh, I don't know how much that would matter. I think Violet wouldn't give a shit about either of them. And like we're kind of seeing it. Woo! Very nice. Yeah. That is like the biggest. Uh, right there when uh, what Eli got just shows off like one of the biggest pieces that. Uh, has, which is, how do you land with this character? Yeah. Like, she doesn't have, uh, Violet doesn't have that many moves that hit below them, which makes it super hard to come back. Not to All mention, right. like, they also don't have, like, any great hit off moves that isn't being done, like, directly off the ground. Well, Loki like, great able to even up the stocks, went off deep with that back air, so. But now we're seeing kind of a repeat of the first dog. No spike that time. Good use of the fair. Try to see this now. Ooh! Ooh, the big boy read. Nice. It covered two options, but still very nice enough. Yeah, both these characters just have a hell of a hard time landing. So whoever gets advantage first is generally going to be the one that sets the stock. This, this seems so frustrating. I'm sure it is. The thing is, like, it's like, if the, Ooh. yeah, that's it. If the shoe was on the other foot, like, we definitely would have seen something very similar uh, on the oh, Vanquisher side. No because hesitation. both of these characters just really, these are both characters that are great at trapping people when they're trying to land, but they're very susceptible to that exact issue. What was it? Who, who was that down there for? It was for, uh, I think it was for Eli if he decided not to go directly to the ledge, which he did, so for him. Also, like, he could have, uh, if he had done it a little bit later, he might have actually been able to have gotten the spike off, just because there is a certain amount of, uh, there is a certain amount of vulnerability between you grabbing the ledge and you actually, and between you air dodging mm -hmm. and you grabbing the ledge. Mm -hmm. Granted, it's not as big as, like, Ness or Lucas is. Theirs is kind of large in comparison, mm -hmm. but it is hittable in a lot of characters. Alright, let me see what we got here. I wanna see the skill again. <laughs> so like he read the roll, but then he came in on him anyway. You know, it's like the exact yeah. uh, weakness that DK has, which is landing. And I mean he didn't have to land on him. <laughs> he definitely didn't, but I think he was also expecting like an F smash. Because that covers both options, and that's not something that really that new Vanquish was doing. Which is uh not F smash on side B, sorry. Where's it F smash? The one where he throws a spear at him. That's not something new Vanquisher was really doing like before. 